Hi, Scott Tipton. I wanted to be able to give you an update on some of the votes that we've cast in Washington this week. Had two very important issues that we've heard a lot from many of you in our district on uh, over the course of these past few months. First is in regards to Benghazi, and the second is in regard to an area of something that's important to all of us, and that is free speech, the right to be able to express our political opinion. On that first issue of Benghazi, I've supported the advancement of a select committee to actually investigate the real tragedy that happened resulting in the loss of four American lives and to be able to seek actual answers in regards to the administration's response that came after the Benghazi event. To that end, we now have a select committee in place and it's going to be moving forward to be able to seek those answers that I think the families and the American public truly deserve answers to. This is something that impacts America on a broad scale in terms of our embassies, our consulates, and our field personnel that are serving overseas. We want to be able to make sure they're safe and that we've got an administration that's willing to be able to stand up for them. This select committee will be headed up by a friend of mine, Trey Gowdy. I have every confidence we'll seek the real answers that we need to be able to have for the American public. Secondly, we also have the issue of free speech in this country. We've seen the IRS used as a political arm to be able to stifle political speech in this country. Be it liberal, conservative, whatever your political thoughts are, you ought to be able to have the right to be able to express those opinions and make sure that the IRS is not going to be targeting you simply because of those. To that end, we have now addressed that with legislation uh, directing Attorney General Holder to put forward a, a counsel to address criminal activity by Lois Lerner and the IRS in regards to stifling political speech in this country. This is something that I think every American can respond to and understand. It is not a political issue. No matter which side of the aisle you happen to stand on, we all need the right to be able to have free speech and not be fearful that our government is going to try and punish us simply because of that speech. We also are looking forward very much to being able to be in our district this coming week. We're going to be holding town hall meetings and having an opportunity to go through the district to be able to visit with our small businesses to address something that's of great concern to all of us. That's an opportunity to be able to get a job and to be able to hold on to jobs. We continue to see virtually double-digit unemployment throughout the 3rd Congressional District. And we have opportunities to be able to get our people back to work if we can get Washington out of the way. We want to be able to hear those real stories and to be able to bring those back to move forward legislation to create those opportunities to get those private sector jobs moving once again.